Welcome back to 843 TV. We're talking with Bennett and we talked about your law firm and all the ways you support different things in the community. We talked with Kevin running for mayor of Port Royal. And now we're going to talk with you a little bit about holiday safety, things that we do around the house that we don't think about, just try to right. prevent so some cases. Obviously, mm -hmm. you know, the, the holidays can be very dangerous. People are distracted. They're in a hurry. They're often doing things that they don't normally do. They're traveling. And so, you know, there's a lot of things that we can do. Uh, and, and first, I want to touch on entertaining. Mm -hmm. um, we have this thing called social host liability in South Carolina. So if you're hosting a party, you need to be careful about over-serving individuals, perhaps providing a, a ride service for uh, your guests. And that may limit some of your liability because social host says that if someone leaves your home and they've been overserved or they're intoxicated and they do harm to another person, that person may have a claim against you mm. under the social, just like you would if you had been overserved at a, at a bar. So, yeah. you know, entertaining, need to be careful about, you know, what you're serving. Maybe have your guests bring their own beverages rather than you provide them. Uh, there's some other things, you know, I've seen people with decorating. You know, you can create a lot of hazards around your house mm -hmm. uh, when you're decorating. I had a case where a delivery driver was delivering packages to uh, someone over in Bluffton. And, of course, they've got their head down. They're, they're you know, checking their little computer, and they're putting the package uh, on the doorstep. He turns around, and as he's coming, you know, he's more upright, and he gets clotheslined by a string of Christmas lights mm -hmm. and suffered pretty significant injuries. So, you know, things to think about when you're decorating um, we have drop cords that we run out to bushes and trees. Yeah. To make sure they're staked down because it could create a trip hazard. Sure. And if you create a hazardous condition, even though somebody may be trespassing and, and, and not a guest, you could be held liable for that. Hmm. Um, but, you know, there's other safety tips, you know, placing candles on mantles with, you know, live garlands and things like that can not be fire hazard, not keeping water in your tree. So during the holidays, you know, be mindful of the things that you can do to make your home safe so that you don't cause injury to other people. You know, as a, as a personal injury lawyer, we see these hazards all the time. When I come into people's house, I'm thinking, oh, gracious, you know, this is, seems a little dangerous. Uh, so those are things that, you know, when you're um, decorating and entertaining, you should be mindful of, you know, the people that could be injured by your uh, actions, or especially, especially when you're having uh, children in your house that may not be Normally in your home, good point. You, know, yeah. you have your, your family members over, they've got small children. You know, you need to be careful and make sure that your home is prepared for those things. People probably don't even think about this stuff. Probably so not. it's very interesting that you bring that up. Uh, let's talk a little bit more about the social host, because that is a big thing. Um, invite people over for a party and then someone, um, you know, drinks too much. What about like food and things like that? Do you have to be thinking about? Sure. Well, obviously, you know, we love seafood down here. So make sure that you have an ice tray if you have seafood sitting out, because if it sits there on the counter for a long time, it could, you know, um, become dangerous. And we've seen, you know, poison, um, food poisoning is bad. I don't know if you've ever had it. I've had it. Uh, it's not fun. Uh, so making sure that the food preparation is done properly and that if it's going to be left out for a period of time, that you make sure, especially with you know any of the salads that have mayonnaise in it, you know, making sure that you're protecting your guests from uh, allowing the food to to you know become contaminated by sitting out too long. Uh, obviously, you know, food allergies. We see a lot of this now. You know, children with food allergies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, when we were growing up, we didn't have we didn't have these things called food allergies, but uh, their food allergies, making sure that you know your guests are aware if something's you know, been cooked in peanut oil, for instance, uh, that the guests know about those things. Now, this might present kind of an awkward situation. I'm a friend. You invite me over to a party. I think I have a case against you. How do you handle that? How would you? What well, would surprisingly, you, you, know, you know, surprisingly, it's it's often against just the insurance company. So I have homeowners, and if I did something that resulted in harm to you, and I were, was negligent, then your claim would actually be against my insurance company. Okay. So I personally wouldn't be as offended. But some people do get offended, and it can uh, break up that relationship. Yeah, but, I would. You know, I would think that would potentially cause tough, yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. It can so be tough. we're going to uh, talk a little bit more about some other safety while you're traveling during holidays. Right. So stay right here. We'll be right back.